Thank you, Gary. History in the making here in Melbourne tonight. The first rugby league test to be played outside Queensland or New South Wales. And here come the Aussies, led by skipper Mal Meninga, captaining the Australians for the eighth time this season this, this year. And he is looking forward to a big one. And here comes the black and white dynamite, the Kiwis, led out by Gary Freeman. What a night for Gary Freeman. What about the pressure on this man? Only a few weeks ago, dropped to reserve grade at Balmain, and here he is captaining his country in a test match against the world's greatest side, the Australians. The referee for tonight's clash is Englishman John Holdsworth, and there's the kickoff. Australia have won the toss and will run with the breeze. Martin Bella brought down in heavy tackling right on his own quarterway. First tackle of the evening. He's got through plenty of work for the Kiwis so far. The Australian team have been quite surprised by the, the physical strength of the Kiwis. I think that they're quite amazed at, uh, at how rugged and how dominant they are in terms of physique. Here comes Shearer picking up a loose ball. He's only got body in a beat. He puts the chip in. Bring it from Bouncer and he's lost it with the line there. The Kiwis just outside their own quarterway. Still nil all here at Olympic Park in this historic test match. Freeman, there's a gap there for him, he finds it easily. Where's the support? He pops it inside. Now McCracken has it, the big centre starts to wind up, but the Australian cover was equal to the moment. The two Freeman. youngsters, Watson and McCracken, good combination as Freeman runs at the blind and tries a little chip. He's taken out a play as he runs into the back of Bella. What's going to happen here? Holdsworth moving to the spot. Penalty, Kiwis. Looks good in flight. The touch judges agree with it. It's 2-0 at Olympic Park. New Zealand lead Australia in on, the first test. On the Subaru scoreboard, yes indeed, it's 2-0 in favour of the Kiwis. He's about 18 metres out, almost in front of the New Zealand goalpost. Lindner with that telling burst upfield again. Good stuff, Bob Lindner. He's back to his best after recovering from that broken leg. Some good short passing from the Australians close to the ruck. Meninga, they've used him twice in that position. He's only a couple of metres out. They're set to the right, the Australians. They'll go from dummy half. Is Steve Walters over for his first test try in his first test? Yes, he is. And over goes Steve Walters. Nevertheless, there are clear cut, -cut signs here of the Australian dominance. I, I feel that uh, the, the Kiwis are the ones that are making the, the errors. The Australians are the ones who are moving it about. Now there's space. Meninga pushing out of tackles. He gives Shearer some room. He stands up Blackmore sensationally. It's inside to Lewis. Will Lewis score and he's come back? Yes, he will. No try. No try. Held up. And Lewis can't believe it. He's looking at Holdsworth. He's arguing with Holdsworth. He can't believe it. Langer dragged down just inside his own territory. The Kiwis hang all over the top of him. They get it back inside to Bobby Lindner. This is Bradley Clyde, I should say. More good stuff. This is Gillespie. Gillespie trying to break out of tackles with the line open. Lewis quickly into dummy half. He's got options left and right. The Kiwi defence is straggling. He's been held down. Ten minutes in the bin for Freeman. Well, it had to be. He used the same tactic in the first half. Only about 15 metres out. It should be an easy two points for the Australian skipper. It is. The crowd tells the story. Over it goes. So it's eight points to two on the Subaru scoreboard in favour of the Australians here at Olympic Park Melbourne over the Kiwis. Full marks to the uh, New Zealand cover defence. As we said, they are down to 12 men. And yet there was two or three tacklers there to try and snuff out that potential try scoring move. So the Kiwis now have to do it tough again and work it out from their own quarter line. And they do it well. This is Watson with a little break. Got up, played the ball forward and made 20 metres. Now they're on a roll. Here comes Peter Brown. He starts a chain passing move, but Meninga in there with a heavy tackle. That was Colotto he flattened. But they keep it alive out here. Blackwall. If this man can get wound up, he can be dangerous. He's big, he's fast, and he's strong. And here he goes, Richie Blackmore. He's only got Hoff to beat. Oh, he pops it on the outside of McCracken. McCracken is going to beat them all for a brilliant Kiwi try. What a comeback. What a try. And McCracken, the youngster who last year, as I said, was playing in Port Macquarie, has capitalised as the Kiwis make a bus from what was broken play after Coloto had lost the ball. Blackmore was the man who stepped inside and went down the right-hand flank. He went in and away beautifully to position McCracken. McCracken just had too much of a head of steam up and got over the line despite the cover defence of Andrew Eddinghausen, one of the fastest players on the field. Interesting to see what they do with Friend. I'd imagine he'll go to halfback and they'll play Freeman at 5'8". 
as Freeman was back on the field, popping it out. Wasn't a good pass out there to Williams, though, but Williams still doing well, trying to beat men. Strong player, and then pops it back to Freeman, who throws it ahead. Could this be a penalty? Meninga, and Meninga will get time. Well, Meninga turned his back on Freeman. Tit for tat, the two captains have had 10 minutes in the sin bin each. Meninga, looking incredulous. He's been injured in that tackle, Bob Lindner. He's lost the ball. Well, hopefully the referee has seen what's happened then. Every person in the crowd has seen that. That ball was hit out of Lindner's hands as he was down injured, but now the Kiwis are back on the attack. A disgraceful decision from Holdsworth. And they're going to come close here, the Kiwis. They've got Australia under pressure. The ball's been popped up. Lindner's still down, and they've called for the stretcher, remembering he's only just a couple of weeks back from a broken leg. Freeman to Todd in the line out wide. This is Brown. They, uh, they get around Lindner to Bodica. Bodica to Blackmore, and the big man is going to score, and he's going to run it a little bit closer. Richie Blackmore is over for the Kiwis' second try. They had the Australian defence shot to pieces. There was plenty of support outside and not too much Australian defence. They're on halfway in centre field. Clayton Friend with a good little chip kick. He's going to kick it and chase it ahead. He's got the break on Paul Huff. Look at the big man take strides. Has he got it down? It's a try. He's awarded a try to Clayton Friend. What a brilliant solo effort. None of the Australians are disputing. It'll be interesting to see this one from head on. Mercer at dummy half again to his skipper Freeman with the little kick through. It's <laughs> been juggled and there is another try. The man who put the kick in just a few moments ago, Tawira Nakao, is over. And if it, uh, the last try didn't wrap it up, Roy Masters, this one certainly does. They have completely outplayed Australia in the second half. Australia's last chance to try and drag some respectability out of this test match. But the time is ticking away quickly. There's a long pass from Lewis. It's gone astray, but it will be cleaned up as the full-time siren sounds here. It's history at Olympic Park. The Kiwis have won the first test ever played in Melbourne and they've won it decisively, beating Australia 24 points to eight. And it has been a sensational performance by the underdogs tonight. The Kiwis have gone wild and so has the huge Kiwi contingent. Mal Meninga, who spent 10 minutes in the sin bin, he looks dejected. He'll be even more dejected when he goes in to find his teammate. Bob Lindner has a suspected broken leg. It's been a tragic night all round for the Aussies. And what about the performance there? You've got to give credit to the young Kiwi backline. Jared McCracken in particular, who had a hand, of course, in that try, scored the try set up by uh, Richard Blackmore. Last year, he was playing in Port Macquarie. Here he is in front of 28,000 fans, starring as the Kiwis create history at Olympic Park.